my name is Headley Martin. I'm the Senior Project Manager for the Truro Eastern Park and Ride site. What you're seeing now in the foreground is a stillage pond that has just basically taken um, water and drainage materials from the site. It's just stored there now, so it'll, it'll act as a store for that. The, the foreground basically shows the proposed housing residential site. Um, there is a compound that we've set up that receives all our materials and there's a car park there for, for uh, all the contractors. Essentially this does look mainly over the residential site and just coming into the fore now in the top of the screen is the Waitrose proposed food store area. The Southern Access Road, you can see the new road on the, on the bottom end of the site, um, which enters onto the Waitrose platform. That big area in the middle is an overhead um, Western Power Cable, which is yet to be removed at that time. Um, and again, the, the view sweeps back up to the residential site. Um, the Southern Access Road, which is the main road that you see at the top of the picture, that runs right around the site that connects to a new uh, junction uh, which has been created at the bottom of the site which is essentially we call it the Sunostal Road Junction. That junction has been created to obviously capture traffic heading into the city from Tresillian End uh, and bring into the park and ride. The current view now again sweeps over the top of the uh, proposed Waitrose platform. These are all roads mostly. In the fore or main picture now are two trees which you can see enclosed with fencing. They are very rare elm trees which we have to maintain and protect and in fact the hedgerows that you see are all protected and there is two and a half kilometres of tree protection fencing that have been erected onto this site. There will be in the end some 130,000 meters cubed of material that we need to move on or around the site with virtually no um, discharge off site so it's basically remodeling the whole site. Bottom left you can see the construction of the pond in the corner that is a detention basin which has basically been constructed to take any runoff from the site so when we get inclement weather that's where it's captured. What you see now is the south car park and you're just zooming over the top of the hub building. The hub building will be uh, constructed to uh, maintain and manage the park so as uh, customers use the park and ride they'll use the hub building to um, buy the ticket and then obviously use the infrastructure to get in and around the, the city. That's the hub building that you can see there now. The walls for the south car park you can see being constructed there that is that essentially is, is a south car park that forms part of uh, the council's infrastructure and then there'll be you can just about see the half moon shape of what will be the eastern car park. There's a borrow pit what we call a borrow pit we created also on site which gave us extra um, risings what we call risings but it's extra fill suitable structural fill that was created that has been filled totally uh, with topsoil so we've used the material we wanted and backfilled with the surplus topsoil materials and the zoom now is over the top of the north car park they're saying the total um, car parking space for that will be provided is some 1800 spaces for cars and there are there's enough room obviously to manage about a dozen coaches at any one time okay the site is due to be concluded um, by the summer of this year 2015 the park and ride will be up and running the waitrose store and the residential site will follow on beyond that in different phases